Hey, what's up, Star Status? It's 3D the Rap Star, aka is the Benz Man. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram, and it's the Benz Man. That's I T S T H E B E N Z M A N. And in today's video, I'm excited to bring everyone that one year. One year. Had the car for about one year. Big shout out to my bro. Without him, I wouldn't even have this car to bring y'all to the channel. So with no further ado, ooh, we're gonna talk about that one year. What could have happened to this thing? You know, Mercedes get a lot of bad uh, reliability ratings, especially on a car like this. Stay tuned, you know what we gotta do. Let's get some angles. I got a full tank of gas in my E-Class Benz. I got the S600 through the AMG in. Mashing up the block, they can't see through tents. Why my G-Wagon gotta be so dipped? All I ever wanted was a brand new Benz so I could ride for D, just me and my friends. I used to be flat broke, now I got ends. First thing I did was go buy me a Benz. Look, I'm leaving, mashing this Benz all season. All right, so before I get into my problems and what was wrong with this car and what happened to it and everything you guys need to know, I am gonna say something real quick. I wanna give a shout out uh, to one of my boys, uh, Project One. His Instagram is on the screen. If you wanna follow him, he do car wraps and everything like that. He gave me some real informative information about what his car did. He has an S Coupe as well. So I just wanna let everybody know that so on his car, he had some aromatic problems. Aromatic problems. And you gotta tell people to be really careful when tinting these windows. Cause I think he said his rear shade went out and some stuff with the mirrors went out. Ended up costing him around 7K. All right, so at 7K, that is a lot. But that's why you gotta get the warranty. Like he said, he does have the warranty. So I think he didn't pay any out of pocket expenses. I have a three year warranty on mines. Let's get in what I had problems with. It has been zero. So that's a really good thing, but I do want to state uh, some of the people that watch my older videos, I did have a thing where it was like a little bit of smoke coming from over here, but I know if I wash the car and I heat up the brakes, you know where they're gonna get heated up as I drive, but just look at all this brake dust. Sometimes it's some smoke, you know, if I wash it, but Occasionally, it was a little smoke coming from right here. But I think it's very mild and I haven't seen it since. So I am happy to say the door still works. Everything on the inside is still functioning correctly. Let's go ahead and start it up. No lights on the dash. So everything is still good. So I am pleased to say that one year in, the thing has been really good. You know, y'all seen the journey. I got tires. I changed the wrap uh, like two times. This is going on my second wrap color for this car. Uh, you can look under it. It's been sitting for about an hour and no leaks. Really impressive, no leaks. I think I didn't see any, let's look again. I don't know if the camera can get that. I know we just seen something on this side, but that's not a leak. That's just all the stuff that's already been there. So one year in, I only just got the service for this thing. I got the service. And one thing I did do when I bought it was the AC was not blowing cold air. So I fixed that, but I showed that on the service video. And that costed me about... I wanna say $500, but it's doing it again. So dang, matter of fact, let me correct myself. It has been one problem. The AC stopped again, but I don't really count that problems to me as like, I mean, it's still wrong with the car, still something that you could say that went wrong with it, but I just don't count it personally. But if y'all wanna count that, you can count it. But other than that, a year in, really no problems. And they say Mercedes are unreliable. It's not that these things are unreliable, they just, cost a lot if something does happen to go wrong with them that's the only thing like my cl in my first year tons of problems as y'all seen on the page that's cool first year so far zero problems so you know this car is essentially still a cl you know the cl is essentially a s coupe you know however you want to look at it it's still been basically the same car 
but that's why I say this one is slightly better because you get more tech on the inside and you get a slightly more reliable car. So yeah, the CL is perfect. You know, I still love the CL. Anybody still looking for a CL and asking me, oh, you know, should I get one? Still get one. Perfect car, but you're gonna have uh, it's fair share of problems, but who, who knows? Next year around this time, I could be saying bad stuff about this car, but it's been really good. It's been really reliable. I got these Continentals. It's the ride is perfect. I don't hear no interior squeaking. And some people, I want to say trolls, be saying that the Mercedes squeak or whatever, but not an S Class. That's why you get an S Class 550 over, let's say, even a C63, just because you got the three letters, you know, the built quality. It's just not going to be as good as the S. Let's just call it what it is. But overall, like I said, I know the controversy sells every time I say, oh, what's bad about this car? This thing wasn't good. I get a lot, a lot more views. But I'm sorry that I got to tell everyone this thing's been super reliable for me with about 60K miles on the clock. And then, as y'all know, I did the wrap turquoise chrome. This is like an 8K job. I got plenty of videos showing the chrome wrap, showing everything about this color. You know, the job is done perfect. All the seams match up. That's my original color, as everyone do know. Perfect chrome job, but I got to say zero problems again. So I hope this video get out in time. I'm about at 60K uh, miles. But you know, one of my boys did say you have 7K in repair. So that's what I want to talk about. It's not the reliability. It's the maintenance prices a lot of times that make the Benzes not reliable to people. Because sometimes your suspension or aromatic go out, you're looking at a two to $3,000 job. So after that, some people don't got two or 3K uh, laying around. I know a lot of older S-Classes, they'd be like slammed to the floor a lot. And don't worry about this gap. The reason why you see it on the camera is because I'm at an angle. But yeah, a lot of S-Classes be slammed to the floor, you know, due to people, they don't want to pay $3,000. They don't want to pay two k for that job. And so I only got, you know, one service so far because service time is not up yet. It's about to be up because everybody know I had the car for one year. Slightly a little above having it for one year. It's about, I maybe got like seven days left, but I wanted to bring this while I was here just to show people and tell people that this thing is reliable. I mean, if you look on JD, you know, I go off the facts. So if you look at the facts, they rated, uh, I think Mercedes Benz like 26 out of 32 cars, which is way down at the bottom. But the reliability out of a five on the S Coupe got a 3.5 which is not bad. I mean, it's not a one, it's not a two, it's a 3.5. A three would essentially, what, a 2.5 is mediocre. So a 3.5 would be a little bit slightly above average on reliability. And that's crazy because it's an S-Class Coupe, but let alone, let something happen to it, let something go wrong. You are looking at a big repair job you are looking at a big you know of the twin turbos that's probably about what five six k the suspension alone what two to four k electrical gremlins go wrong you know you're looking at some money they got massaging seats the cologne and the air boxes so much thing but i would advise everyone do not and i repeat do not get this car if you do not have a warranty i mean once my warranty ends i might renew it but i might not just depends on how the car go because i got it at a good deal with the car you know this thing ride like butter it is a step up from the rest it's just really good it's just like a really good car it's like and that's the main thing i like about it is you don't really get the maintenance prices of the s63 on the 550 so you don't really end up having to pay a lot i mean there's still a lot but you know if you go amg or something your prices will start doubling it'll start tripling you know you get an s65 you're paying for basically like two motors like the prices of two v6s in there for a s65 for that 12 cylinder which makes the ride very smooth the whole purpose of the v12 is not for the speed it's for to make the ride smoother so i don't like when people say oh we got the v12 but it's slower oh we, the v12 yeah it's not it's not a fast car it's like they took a brick and took a lot of horsepower it's the same with this car these cars are nearly uh 5, pounds 449 feet of torque. I mean, 449 horsepower, 516 pound feet of torque. That's pretty fast. So you get a 4.5 second S-Class. But which in the S-Class is not about the speed. That's why I want to stress like, cause a lot of people always say, oh, 
yeah, my Kia Stinger is 4.8 and it was half the price. Yeah, but it only got half the price of features. You don't get an S-Class because you want to go fast. That's where everyone's going wrong. And that's why I guess they say it's an older man's car because young person will probably get something they could speed in, something they could speed up in. So it's just different. But this is plenty fast. It can run with a lot of cars. I mean, but, but check this out. This is my theory. This is what I always go by. So check this out. Okay. Yeah, okay, it costs more. So for half the price, you can get your car, right? But say you go race. Say you go take a S550, right? And you go race. And you can take a Hellcat or whatever car and you go race. Of course, the S Class is going to lose, but if it keep up and you're in comfort and you can get a massage while doing it, what's the better car? If it can still keep up with your car, yeah, it might lose. Yeah, it may lose to a lot of muscle cars, a lot of all out race cars, but if it can keep up, and you can get a massage and it's buttery smooth and you can daily drive every day this thing what's the better car i'm just stating i mean they all the better car it depends on what you like but that's just for the people that be saying that or be saying you know a lot of things about because a lot of people priorities on cars be speed 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 but you know i had to talk about a little bit other than the maintenance on this thing because if not what would i've been talking about reliability is good this thing's been great and i hope everybody enjoyed this video and you know just a, it's just a great car to have so that's my experience though don't take it for granted other people's experience may be better maybe worse every car differs even one of my mechanics said that and he drive amgs he said from the factory not even amgs like these cars be rated the same but some of them be slightly faster some of them be slightly slower just from they all don't run the exact same thing on a dyno that could be anything wear on the car your tires you got and then with 22s why would i be out here racing it's just more you know that's why we started our bay area foreign car club it was just for the cars to look nice have nice car it ain't it's not the best car but it's the best car if you get it it's up there it's real nice so that's all i wanted to say on all that and all those topics but it's been a good car you know it can be up there in price you know it paid up you gotta pay to play but signing off bands man